shifting gears a little bit outside of that kind of corporate environment, okay. more of a casual environment. So, you know, people may find themselves, you know, applying for, you know, smaller businesses, which is really outside of business casual. Uh, you could be applying for, you know, coffee shops as a, as a barista. Maybe you're applying at a kind of a, a restaurant um, or just smaller businesses where that, that the fashion we've just been talking about isn't really part of their culture. So uh, shifting gears, what, what do you recommend for those types of applicants? At this point, I mean, some may think, okay, it's time to relax and, <laughs> you know, kick back and throw in whatever, but not necessarily. This, it gets a little tricky because mm -hmm. at this point, now you're really going to have to research the culture yeah. and make sure that you come in in a way where you kind of fit in already. Right. These people in those environments, they want to see a team member that can easily acclimate into already working there. Yes. So you really want to do your research and see what everybody else has been wearing before you come to the interview. Right. Maybe, you know, go in with a nice button up shirt, make sure mm -hmm. it's pressed, you know, um, make sure it's long sleeve. Try not to go in short sleeve showing, you know, any tattoos or anything like that. I still, you know, get away from showing that even though it's casual, I'd still take out, you know, any piercings that you have, any earring, nose ring, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and you want to still go in with a nice pair of slacks or khakis. Right. I'd still reserve to keep the jeans back in mm -hmm. the closet. You know, yeah. don't go in with, you know, ripped and torn jeans or anything like that. And again, you can go with a more casual shoe, you know, a loafer or a lace up, but I wouldn't do a sneaker and I wouldn't do a, a boot or anything casual like that, that casual. Yeah, you know, no, that's, unless you're, that's, yeah, that's, unless you're, go ahead, go ahead. Unless you're, you know, uh, applying to work on a ranch or a farm or something like that, right. I'd leave the boots at home because I know some guys out there that I've had as clients that were really tied to their boots. And they feel like, ah, oh, just put a little saddle soap on them and they'll be fine. <laughs> nah, don't do that. Don't Not do that. so good. I, I, you know, I, uh, the one key, yeah, I mean, I picked up on so much about what you just said there. And I think for anyone, any applicant out there that's watching this and, and thinking about applying for a job in kind of that more casual environment, one of the things I picked up on that you said right off the bat is it's actually a little trickier to try and figure yeah. out what the style should be for that type of interview. Versus that formal business environment where you know you're going yeah, soon, you already know, or the, or the or the casual business environment where you 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 kind of have a uh, a formula to work with. And this one, it's yes. a bit a bit more of a mystery, and you you've mm -hmm. got to really do that research. But again, it's coming down to those fundamentals that you talked about: the slacks, the khakis, the shoes. You know, the the nice kind of button shirt. You know, yes. those are those are some of the fundamentals that you know, even though it's more casual. It will help you make that awesome first impression. Indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. You got it. Great advice.